Serena has nicely illustrated uh, the current therapeutic ladder for the treatment. Um, but let's go and delve into the new treatments. And let's start first with the immune target. So the targets uh, that we know of IL-4 and IL-13, we have now a drugs, dupilumab. For IL-31, we have nemolizumab. And also for that receptor that is a heterodimer of IL-31 receptor and oncostatin M, there is vexarilumab, the target oncostatin M. Then there are other drugs such as JAKSTAT that can target a, the immune component of the type 2 inflammation, and also a drug that targets the mast cell called CDX0159. And most probably there'll be other drugs targeting these pathways. Let's start discussing the drugs that are targeting the immune system. We will start first with uh, nemolizumab that in uh, 2020 in the New England Journal of Medicine, a phase two trial has shown uh, this was a 12-week study and a six-week follow-up. And as you could see that there was a significant uh, reduction in the peak itch uh, numerical rating scale with the use of nemolizumab, only two injections, the safety profile of this drug was quite good. Now there are some top-line results from a phase three Olympia uh, two trial and again, they met uh, both primary endpoints at 16 weeks with nemolizumab monotherapy with 38% versus 11% of patients treated with nemolizumab that achieved clearance or almost clearance of skin lesions. And in terms of the itch, uh, 56% versus 21% on nemolizumab uh, versus placebo achieved uh, more than four uh, point reduction in itch. Uh, for peak paritis uh, numerical rating scale. Very robust results. In terms of the safety profile of IL-31, it has a very good safety profile. There were some issues with gastrointestinal musculoskeletal pain. Let's go now into the next uh, drug, uh, dupilumab. And dupilumab actually is the first drug to be approved by the FDA just recently in September 28th for the purpose of perigonal dolaris. And there are two phase three trials, prime two and prime. The first was prime two, and this figure shows the proportion of patients with a significant reduction, worst stitch NRS of four point and above. Uh, by the way, uh, four point improvement is a significant and meaningful uh, clinical uh, reduction. And what you could see here in the primary endpoint, 37% with uh, dupilumab versus 22% in the placebo. And uh, the secondary endpoint was in week 24, 57%, more than 57% versus 19.5% in the placebo achieved a significant uh, itch reduction. Also very robust changes in the fibrosis, the investigator global assessment of zero or one was achieved in 45% versus 16% uh, in week 24. What about the prime? Again, in this study, the primary endpoint was longer, week 24. And again, very uh, robust uh, effect on itch, 60% versus 18.4% in the placebo. And in terms of the lesions, uh, there was a significant reduction in uh, meaning that there was no evidence of active lesions in 48% versus 18.4. And again, in terms of uh, adverse effects, uh, they were uh, uh, very minimal, no difference from placebo. Of interest, the uh, conjectivitis that we are seeing a lot in atopic eczema was not noted. It was uh, uh, very minimal. In terms of other uh, ongoing trials, uh, uh, I'd like to point out the vexarilumab. Uh, this is the drug that targets oncostatin M receptor. There are uh, some uh, results of a phase two, uh, and they showed robust effect as an antipyretic. Let's go into what treatments that target the neural system. And the one uh, drug that uh, has completed its phase uh, two uh, trials is nalbufen. This is a drug that targets the mu opioid. It's an mu opioid antagonist and a kappa opioid agonist. 